when children are traumatized, one of the ways they they cope with it is to soothe themselves, and then that's where addictions come in. But another way to cope would be is if you get the message that you're not good enough, that you are not worthy enough, then you might spend the rest of your life trying to prove that you are. And how do you do that? By being very nice to everybody, by never saying how you feel, because they might not like how you feel, by never expressing healthy anger when somebody's crossing your boundaries, by working too hard to prove that you're worthwhile. Growing up, I was a very high performance child. I was the child who would always have 90s in all of her subjects. I was very good, tried not to cause trouble for my parents or to add to any stress that they might be dealing with from just being adults and having to figure out life. I was what any parents would call a perfect child. And that sort of followed me into my adulthood to a point where now I just do it without even thinking. It's ingrained in my system. And this is why from time to time, I find myself burnt out and susceptible to temptations. So what happens is that I find an incredible and immense sense of satisfaction from work. I like to work. It makes me feel good. So sometimes I walk not even sometimes, way more times than I should. I find myself working really long hours, even though I don't work what might be called a traditional nine to five. I have more of a flexible job because I work remotely. Basically, I find that I'm working like round the clock. If I'm not working at that job, I'm working at creating content. If I'm not working at creating content, I'm doing freelancing. If I'm not doing freelancing, it's like a million and one things that I am doing and I have to do all of them that day. Just because when I am able to accomplish every single task, I feel incredibly satisfied. I feel validated. I feel like I matter. Things that I may have felt like, oh, I've left this thing behind, you know, are things that I now find myself wanting to indulge in because I need some sort of comfort. That comfort might even be something like, oh, I think today I just want to eat all sort of nonsense food and just binge eat, even though I'm supposed to be on a healthy, supposed to be on a healthy diet because I am looking for comfort. Like I remember one time I was, you know, talking to God about how much work I had to do and God just basically told me, the work that you're stressing about is not something that needs to be done in a year or even in a month. Like this is your entire life. Like you can space this across the span of your life. No one is saying you have to do and become everything at once. And so I just had to learn to just start getting comfortable with taking bits and pieces instead of trying to do everything at once and become everything at once. On the days that I do forget, like this month of June, where I have been completely tired, completely exhausted, these are the three things that I do to sort of bounce back or to recharge my battery, so to say. The first thing that I do is that I spend time alone by myself doing nothing. Um, up until a few years ago, I didn't really know that I was an introvert. And an introvert is somebody who basically recharges from being alone. Basically, they want to be alone by themselves or with a very few people at most to be able to function well again. I feel like I enjoy my company so, so much. It's really so as I was editing this vlog, I just decided that I was going to put in some clips to show you guys like some of the things that I mean practically. So I'm showing you how I practically spend time alone. So this particular day, I went to the spa to get a facial, a massage and do my pedicure. This is some sort of self-care, I guess, and also a way for me to just relax, relax. <laughs> But yeah, basically, um, I was gifted a voucher from a very, very wonderful girl. Basically, she reached out and was just like, hey, you know, I feel led by God to do this for you. And I was so happy and so blessed because I don't think I could have thought about this on my own. So yes, this was one of the days when I decided to do something alone where 
I just went to the spa and just had a very relaxing day. So that is the first thing I do when I'm trying to recharge my battery and bounce back to just being healthy. I spend time alone by myself. The second thing that I do is that I spend time with my family and my friends. It's really healthy for me to surround myself with the right kind of people when I do need company. When I'm with my family and friends, they're able to speak back into me. Hanging around them makes me see that, oh, you know, I'm truly loved for who I am, not because of how hard I can work or what I can do or what I can bring, just for who I am, these people love me. I remember a few months ago, my friend got married and when she came for her traditional wedding, we have friends who were here decided to have like a surprise just go away for the day for her to just kind of celebrate this new chapter of her life with her it was so much fun and i remember like that entire day i just felt so relaxed i have some clips and footage from that trip so i think i would just allow you guys to see what some of what that day was like <laughs> Going out tonight, changes into something red. Her mother doesn't like that kind of dress. Everything she never had, she's showing off. Driving too fast, moon is breaking through her hair. She said it was something that she won't forget. Having no regret is all that she really wants. He was already packing his stuff, putting his nigga. But you know what? Tick. I saw it on like this Ariel Pat F. The girl that makes like funny Christian oh, videos. Oh yeah, Ariel Fitzpatrick. Yeah, yeah she was girl. like, when like you're asking the Holy Spirit, like why you never get time to like yeah. for quiet time, and God is like TikTok, tick, like actually like being oh, on TikTok. Okay, so, 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 so. <laughs> And that was just basically it like we were just like surprised she was so surprised obviously that made me so happy you know we went to this very beautiful place where we just spent the whole day swimming eating food and talking about god and talking about relationships it was just so sweet and just so beautiful and just exactly what i needed the third and final thing that i do is that i spend dedicated time with god you know, for some reason, and I'm sure this happens with most people, it happens with me, once life gets really hectic, one of the first things that suffers is my relationship with God, unfortunately. I literally would just wake up in the morning, roll over in bed and go to my laptop and start working. I wouldn't pause to pray. And this is usually because like, I work so late into the night. So by the time I go to bed, it's really late. It's like 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. So by the time I wake up in the morning, it's like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to get to work. Like, so that wrong sleeping schedule to even begin with sort of messes up the entire thing. So I just find that my relationship with God is usually the first thing that suffers. Like obviously I have constant communication with God in the sense that I'm always speaking to him throughout the day. Like that one is a given. Like I might say, God help me with this. God help me with that. Oh God, I'm worried about this. God, I need help with that. Like that's a given, right? But like there's something about dedicated time with God that feeds your soul. And anybody who has intimacy with God will understand what I'm talking about. Sure, there will always be hectic seasons of, of 
of our our lives we might not always have time to spend like four hours praying or five hours praying but I just believe that if we really are intentional we can make out at least an hour or two to spend with God every day but for me it was just like bloop. I don't really have time God I'm really sorry I'll be right back and I just look up and just see that oh my goodness a week has passed two weeks has passed and I haven't spent dedicated time with God so for me once I just noticed that that has happened I just try and find my way back by just coming and just saying God I'm so sorry you know I put on some worship music I sit down I just let it soak in and then I just open my heart and just start pouring it out to God whether I even telling him like God I feel so crappy I felt so crappy for the past two weeks because I'm working so hard and there are just all of these thoughts going on in my mind and I'm sorry that I just kind of pushed you aside but hey I'm here now please like can we have like a conversation about this can you help me with this you know and then also just I don't know about other people but I also ask God like what is on your mind like what what is going on with you what are you thinking about right now where is your heart like you know that I try to also step into the heart of God so that there is an exchange between us you know and then I just find that I just feel refreshed again. I feel energized again and I'm you know, ready to go. These are the three things that I do when I am burnt out, when I feel that I'm tempted, you know. And yes, basically that's just this video. I just wanted to come on here and just share with you guys where I currently am, you know, some of the things that I have been dealing with and just hoping that this is somehow helpful to somebody. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite part was. If you learned anything, if you can relate to what I'm saying, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in my next video.